Hey everybody, this is Scott with Tango Down Production. I haven't made a video in a while, so I decided now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple videos, one today and probably one tomorrow. But anyway, uh, today's video is going to cover my concealed carry loadout. So, uh, without hesitation, I guess let's get to it. Okay, first things first, what I like to carry, that right there is a steel reinforced belt. I've got a sturdy buckle right here. And with this leather, it's a single stitch, but I don't know if you can tell real well, but it's got an extremely thick thread going through there. And it's actually two pieces of leather sewn together with a steel band in the middle of it. Now the steel band uh, allows it to still conform around my waist here, but it supports my gear extremely well. In fact, often I carry a full-size Kimber 1911, and it supports it uh, very, very well. So next in line is I carry a G2. Surefire flashlight and the G2 Surefire flashlight holder. Glock 23. Glock 23 uh, standard magazine there with the uh, 13 rounds with the uh, two round pinky extender uh, on the end. Phobos holster. Magazine and spare magazine pouch also Phobos there. Uh, this is a Glock 22 mag that has actually the 15 rounds and I'll cover that why I've got that in a minute. Um, First things first, um, let's cover the flashlight. Uh, there's a couple different reasons I carry the flashlight. One uh, is because it works during the day and the night. There's many, been many times when I've been able to use it just as its intended purpose as a flashlight. Uh, but actually, uh, the main reason I carry it is because it acts as an intermediate weapon in the event that lethal force is, force is not authorized and I've been confronted by a subject who is just with bare hands. I can't. Uh, I can't just push the happy button myself and pull my Glock out and bust a cap on this guy. So I may need to use the flashlight as an intermediate weapon uh, to take care of business and to get the hell out of Dodge. And then of course there is the lovely Glock 23. Uh, I don't know if you saw my overview video earlier, but uh, I covered that with the magazine. Now the Phobos holster, let's get to that real quick. Uh, a lot of people don't like Phobos. Um, this, this particular holster works real well for me because I carry it on my strong side. The only retention this holster has is on the inside is the molded plastic right here that snaps around the trigger guard as the weapon is inserted. So when the weapon goes in there, it just locks in around that. So this is a level one retention holster. Now, and also, I don't know if you noticed there too, but there's rivets on the holster. And that that is what connects that to the belt thread, which, uh, a lot of people say, well, gosh, that's pretty weak. You know, if someone grabs that gun on that holster and they go to hang on that thing or pull on it real hard, it's going to just come apart and fly right off your hip. Uh, yeah, it probably will. Um, but here's the thing. I carry that concealed. People don't know what type of holster I got. They don't know I'm carrying a gun. And that is why I chose that holster. It comes out really quick. It's fast. Um, and if somebody goes to grab that weapon, if for whatever reason they see I have a gun and they go to grab it and they do get a hand on it, um, they've just pushed the happy button and I have retention training in, in place to prevent them from getting that weapon from me. Uh, it's very violent, it's very ugly, uh, it involves a knife that's probably going to end up in their femoral or their eye socket and that's just the way it's going to be because the Supreme Court has deemed that if somebody attempts to disarm you, that is lethal force authorized because it's already presumed that if they get their your weapon from you, they are going to use it against you. And that's just a standard uh, Phobos single pouch. Uh, this is a paddle. I really don't like paddles in reference to holsters. However, with mag pouches, I think that's a great uh, a great addition. It, it works really well. Uh, but the, uh, the the holster is a belt thread. I hate paddle holsters. I, I really don't like them because there was one occasion when I had a paddle. I went to draw the weapon and the holster came with it. So uh, paddles suck in my opinion. That Again, that's just my opinion. But um, this is a Glock 22 mag, which works in the 23. It sticks out a little bit. But here's the thing, the 23, the Glock 23 mag with the two round extender, okay, I get 15 rounds here, and this is the core bond, 155 grain hollow point. The, the thing of it is, I want enough rounds to get the job done here, but if for whatever reason I can't, or the situation is escalated to where I need to reload, this magazine here is to get me the fuck out of there, because if I can't get the job done here, then obviously I don't need to be wherever it is I am, and I need to use this to reload, I got to get out of there because this is all I got left. So that's what that is for. Um, 
I'm gonna own this is my this is a typical uh, style overcoat that I wear. That's a real lightweight REI olive drab green jacket. Um, it can be worn in the fall, spring, throughout the winter, depending on the variants of uh, of coldness. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load this up real quick and show you. Okay, we're back. Um, real quick, this is on my my weak side. I've got the flashlight directly behind the uh, Glock 22 magazine, and then on the right side, this is my strong side carry. Um, basically, what I've got here is the the way this particular uh, weapon system set up. So it's you can't really tell, but it's, the belt is actually threaded through one side of the holster, through a belt loop, and then through the second side of the holster. So that not that this slides, but if it were to. Um, that belt loop would prevent it from going too far one way or the other but uh, you can see this is real sturdy you know and the weapons just it's not gonna flop out of there but you know it, it, it still it's acquisitionable rather quickly comes right out of the holster but yet you know that ain't that ain't going anywhere that's staying and I was talking earlier about the weapon retention um, if, if somebody were to reach for this weapon um, in, in the law enforcement academy, you know, they teach you retent with the right hand and um, you get violent, start twisting and moving. Uh, I've come up with another technique I prefer. I come over the top with my left hand because I use this hand to acquire the happy knife, which will get inverted if they're behind me and they're going to get stabbed in the femoral, they're going to get stabbed in the gut, the face, any place I can hit while I'm twisting and trying to get that off them. I'm not going to worry about cutting their arm because fuck that. I want to hit somewhere that's going to matter. If it's from the front, it's the same. It's a trap here. Knife's out, and I just start working the abdomen and femoral and groin area. So anyway, that's that. But uh, I'll put my coat on. There we go. Now this is what I, where I'm typically at. Uh, the weapon doesn't uh, doesn't print. Stays close to my body. Uh, stand on the front. The coat. Uh, I like this coat because it has Velcro sleeves that are set up like. There we go. Boom. Now I'm, I'm ready to go out for my concealed carry day um, without, uh, without advertising that I'm packing a weapon. Uh, this coat doesn't flop open. I carry usually a wallet or something in this front pocket. It helps keep it secure to my hip. Uh, something else too, a lot of people say, well, Scott, you know, you're law enforcement trained. Why don't you carry pepper spray? Why don't you carry a pair of handcuffs with you as well? Well, first off, here's my school of thought on that. This is freaking huge, and they know that I know they make smaller canisters, but you know what? I'm not a big proponent of pepper spray. It works on dogs real good. It does work on people, but it, you know, on a windy day, it sucks. Plus, if I got to spray this shit, it's gonna get all over everything. If I'm in a supermarket and got to spray some dude, now if I got to go to an intermediate weapon, that's why I carry the flashlight. Uh, pepper spray is too messy. It, it contaminates a lot of stuff. Screw that. And the reason I don't carry handcuffs is because I'm out there by myself. Okay, if I got to hold an individual at gunpoint and they go to the ground. Okay, that's great. I've got them proned out. You know, the cavalry, hope to God, is on the way, or I'm getting on my Bluetooth and calling emergency services and getting the, getting the cavalry on the way. Okay, I'm still by myself until that happens. Even though I know how to properly handcuff an individual, who's, who knows, maybe that guy's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and knows ground fighting. So the minute I go to go hands off my handcuffs, boom, he spins on me or something, boom, the fight's on. That, that's bad. Screw that. Um, you know what? I, no, I'm not going to carry handcuffs on me. Plus, uh, chances are, uh, if this, God forbid, it ever has to, but if it comes out of the holster, probably going to be shooting it. So um, I won't need to handcuff him anyway. So, um, you know, and, uh, now it's the same thing, you know, that, that, that's why I carry this. If, if they're not armed, I've got an intermediate weapon to go to. Uh, this is a great striking platform. I can bury that into someone's eye socket. Uh, I can use it uh, if, I, if I get an arm trap or something, I can use it as a pressure point, uh, do a lock take them to the ground with it, again, hit them with it a few times. I might break my lens cap, but that's all right. I don't mind leaving a few souvenirs behind in the guy's face. So not a big problem with that. So anyway, um, that, that's pretty much a concealed carry loadout, what I go on a daily basis. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, check out uh, Guar Guar 1981's channel. He just got a new uh, concealed carry holster called a CompTAC. I, I highly recommend those. Those things are awesome. Uh, CompTAC EHUD is my next holster. Is actually going to be an EHUD. It's a high-rise appendix carry. I'm, those are things are awesome. Gabe Suarez promotes those. Um, they're, they're 90 bucks a shot. So right now I'm spending my money on other other toys that I'm building and going to buy an AK next month. So yeah, I got to, got to get that taken care of. But once that's all done, I'm going to start picking up some accessories. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Take care, and I'll put up another video tomorrow on my AR-15.